Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com, and I'm going to show you uh, a little trick I learned many years ago um, when I was in Marine Corps Communications. Uh, we did not have tie wraps, but we did a lot of cabling in the field, and uh, we needed something that would hold the cable really securely uh, to a pole or to a tree or, or to something um, to stop it from migrating out of the area that we had it in. And, uh, a lot of times we use electrical tape, but electrical tape would break. And uh, so what I had was I had a, um, an old, old Army communications field manual from the early 40s. And, uh, and uh, I, I went through it and I learned how to do a certain type of knot that really secures cable. And it's, just, it's not something you're going to use every day, but it is something that um, will help you um, when you're in a tight situation. Now what I have here, this is just a regular cable, you know, I just scratch uh, trash cable, uh, recycle cable, and I just put tape at the end uh, just to hold it for the demonstration, but that's not the knot, that's just to make it easier for me to, to show you. Just assume that this cable is uh, just a bunch of cables you have going up a wall somewhere or you have in your, um, you know, in your building somewhere and you really need uh, really strong support for that cable. You just you can't use tie wraps. The cable's too heavy, or the cable bundle is is too big. And uh, uh, so I'm going to show you how to do the um, the barrel knot. So I'm just going to take a, a scrap piece of cable, and as you can see, it's this uh, you know just regular scrap piece of cable. And you can use actually the IW that's inside, um, the little twisted pairs inside. Oh, there there's an old term. IW. IW stands for inside wire. Haven't you heard that in years? I don't know where that came from. But anyway, you take a cable like this, and what you want to do is you take one side of it, and you bend it like this. And then you take another end, and then you bend it again. So now I got two bends in it, as you can see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this down in the middle of the cable with the two bends and I'm going to start wrapping it around the cable. And I'm going to wrap it as tight as I can, and it's not going to damage the cable in any way. I'm going to keep on going around and around. And again, the more secure, more times you go around, the more secure it's going to make that bundle of cable. I'm just going to keep on going around and around. And if I had more cable, I'd continue all the way to the end here. But uh, for training purposes, this is good enough. So I'm going to pull the cable through. Can you see that? I'm going to take it. It's a very easy knot, by the way. And it's very strong. So I'm going to pull this through like this. I'm just going to leave it there. And then I'm going to take the other end, this end, that's underneath this cable here. Remember that from the beginning? That's where I put it put it underneath the cable here. So I'm going to take this end and I'm going to pull. And as I pull, it's going to pull the other end underneath. And that's why it's called a that's why I call it a barrel knot. It looks like a little barrel. And then these two ends you're able to use to support the cable. You know, tie them up. You can even make another barrel knot up here on maybe a support deck if you have enough cable to hold it up. So that's that's pretty strong. That's a lot stronger than your little uh, electrical tape at the end. And that's uh, equal to, if not better than, in strength wise, than tie wraps. And it looks professional, looks nice and neat. And uh, you're going to impress your boss if you're a technician uh, when you have an application where this fits. And uh, it's, it's rare. I don't use it every day, not even every month. And again, it's uh, something uh, I got out of a, uh, an Army communications field manual from the 40s, and it worked well uh, for us in the field when we were, uh, had heavy bundles that we had to suspend over roads and all. We needed something that would not crimp the cable, and this will not crimp the cable on a bend, but yet 
gave the support that was necessary. And uh, the, this, this knot is as tough as nails. It will hold up. Uh, the more uh, loops you make in it, the more weight it will hold up. Uh, again, this is uh, uh, Jim uh, Gibson with uh, CableSupply.com. Uh, thank you for watching our videos. If you like our videos, please follow us on uh, YouTube and also like us on Facebook and the other uh, social media outlets that we have. And if you sign up on Facebook, we can keep you up to date on uh, uh, the latest uh, happenings in the news on technology and ideas and, and um, price breaks that we have on our website and everything else. And, if you appreciate what uh, these these videos do for you uh, or help you, uh, please buy uh, buy your uh, next uh, IT needs uh, equipment, parts, uh, tools. Uh, buy them from CableSupply.com, and uh, uh, you have a great day. Thank you for watching. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com, and today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this YouTube installment of CableSupply.com.